and welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the expansion era boomers taking on the mid-century groundbreakers. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go and towing the slab in this one, Martin Digo. Well, just a three pitch mix in his arsenal, which, you know, it's not a lot for a starter. So always very important for him to have a good feel and command all three. Sometimes you can make that three look like four if you add or subtract a little bit of velocity on one. But you know, one thing about it, it can be easy to get too predictable out there on the mound. So hitters are aware of that. Mixing those three pitches in all counts is going to be a big key for him in this one. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. And he went around. That's ruled the swing. And the next pitch is way outside. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Grounded to Ernie. In plenty of time to first. One out in the top of the first. Now we take a look at that stacked lineup of legendary players for the expansion era boomers. All right, Singy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team. And I, I think it creates a little bit of... Uh, uncertainty for opposing teams especially in a big game big series Digo, he has a reputation i don't know maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in you know you like that in a relief pitcher but when you have it for a starting pitcher a guy that can get out of a tight spot that is pretty valuable one down base is empty That's and ball. another ball Wouldn't chase that time. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Digo comes to the plate. Fly ball center field on the move. Makes the grab. Nice play after the long run. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. Ken Griffey Jr. now at the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Here's a 1 1. Oh, Missed inside. inside with the curve. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know, fielding percentage and you know, what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know, close holes that you know, are normally there against an average defender. But Ball this three. guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Mike Schmidt in the on deck circle. Two out spaces empty. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. When you look at the ability to save runs defensively, but then also put runs up on the scoreboard, that's the kind of player that every championship team needs to have. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Matthews makes the grab on the run. We head to the bottom of the first. No score after a half inning.
Back in Arlington. And starting in this one, Catfish Hunter. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Four-pitch guy, he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Ripken on his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. Now let's have a look at the legends up and down the lineup for the mid-century groundbreakers. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit. That and then when hurt. he does come in the zone, no, you may only hitter. get one pitch. You better not miss it. Now it's the power speed combo, Willie Mays. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Ball. Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do it all. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. That is good. The right fielder. Now it's the right fielder, Hank Aaron. Pickoff throw. Mays dives back in safely. Two outs. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. And another ball. At the belt and fires. Got yeah. him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. An inning in the books tonight. And we're scoreless here on the show. Top of the second. Stepping in the long ball threat. Mike Schmidt. Mike Schmidt. This one in the air center field. Mantle under it. And there's one down. So up next, Jim Tomey. Next pitch is outside. off the wall now he'll turn for second and that's a two bagger man those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever such a good feeling just a solid swing right there caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit those always feel great runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game man at second with one away next to switch hitting first baseman Eddie Murray 
Vigo kicks and delivers. Ball. Sliced hard, but foul. Tommy leads off second with one gone in the inning. The 2 2. And ball. another ball. Well, oh, he's yeah. so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So, right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And he walked him. Take your bait. Well, a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And now Mike Piazza and fouled off. Well, notice they've been pitching him hard inside and the key is if you're going to make a mistake, you've got to make it off the dish. If it leaks out over the plate with this kind of power, he'll be asking for a new baseball. The pitch. Hooks and misses. It's a strikeout. Really good hard bite to that breaking ball for the strikeout right there. I mean, he was able to bury it down below the zone, and that's throwing the pitch with conviction. Good thing for the pitcher. He's not going to miss in the zone, and that's where you get hurt. Excellent execution with two strikes. That could be a big weapon for him in this start. Cal Ripken Jr. getting ready to hit. Swung on, belted. Mantle going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Two left on. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Bottom of the second. Here's the veteran first baseman, Luke Gehrig. The first if you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. 3-1 now. Hard hit, left side. To first. That's one out, the bottom of the second. Batting six. Not shortstop. Ernie. And now the shortstop, Ernie Banks. One down, base is empty. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And the righty deals. And that's ball, ball four. four. Take I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. That is seven. Man at first and one gone. Josh Gibson stepping in now. No. Started to swing, held up. Three ball, one strike. Man at first, one away. And that one finds its way through. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And now here is Ralph Kiner. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. Henderson going back. And out of here. And they take the lead. It's 3-0.
Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. One down. Now the third baseman, Eddie Matthews. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Already three runs across in the frame. Bottom half of inning number two. The punch out there. That's the second out. So two down now. And here is Jackie Robinson. He's not the power guy, but he can hurt you to all parts of the ballpark. Two down, nobody on. Missed with a changeup, and it's two and one. Two ball, one strike. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Two ball, two strike. Two outs. This ball's chopped on the ground, and that one handled. Over to first, and that is the inning. But the biggest swing of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. It's now 3-0. You're dialed into the show. And we're back, all set for the start of the inning. Here's the veteran second baseman, Joe Morgan. Left hand batter waits. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Foul ball still a one and two count. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. And another ball. Two, two. And the two, two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing but also be in position to make a play as an outfielder you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base so I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base Ego with a 2-1 pitch liner base hit so a man aboard now with one away couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And here is Tony Gwynn. Swings through that one for strike one two. two the Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Ricky runs. Fly ball down the line. Kiner in pursuit. Nabs it. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now. It doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Digging in, Ken Griffey Jr. The 1-1. One, one. That's down. Two outs. Runner on the goal. 
Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Manta makes the grab, and that's the inning. As we go to the last of the third, and the batter down, Mickey Mantle. It's been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Lifted in the air down the left side, and it stays fair. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. Just a blue hit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Now it's going to be Willie Mays. Swing and a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. So digging in, Hank Aaron. Late on that fastball. One, two. First and second, no outs here in the last half of the third. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. And another ball. the ground to third to Morgan plenty of time at first that's a double play as a former player watching five four three double plays brings back some adrenaline it's such an exciting play and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport here's a big power threat Lou Gehrig yeah the right hater deals that's outside and it's two and one. On the ground and foul ball. Swing and a miss, and that is that. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the third baseman, Mike Schmidt. And Mike Schmidt had the rare blend of elite defense and big-time power. An eight-time National League home run leader. Only Babe Ruth has more home run titles. Digo winds and fires. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Flying after this one. Won't catch this one. It's down for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Riding to the plate. Not close with that one. 
The count now two and two. Left hand hitter waits. Still two and two after the foul ball. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right through the heart of the strike zone, and he just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. And now, Eddie Murray. And a pitch. Ball. Just missed. 2-1. That one misses. Now three and one. On the ground a second. Might be two. Good feed. That's one. On the first double play. And that's the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's a lead for the mid-century era. Three to nothing. of the inning here's the shortstop at the play Ernie Banks shortstop. Ernie Banks in there at the knees just a really nice slider down and in there he wants to get the hitter to thinking fastball speed him up and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement righty delivers That's and there's the ball, the ball. Now it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three and two now. And that one hammered. Henderson raging back towards the wall. Tattooed to Tater Town and gone. He sends it out of here. And they tack on to their lead. It's 4 0. Clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. And now the catcher comes up to him. Josh Gibson. Way out front for strike two. One, two. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The wind of the pitch. Ball. And that's outside. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody on, nobody out. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Right through there, got him. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Frustrating oh, end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. But why to kick the pitch? That yeah. one catches the zone, and now two and two. I think it was sitting off speed right there because he just let the fastball go by. 2-2. Two, two. And that's three. down and away. Full Recognize count. that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Oh. Swings through oh. it, and that's a strikeout. 
Just couldn't catch up on the low 90s fastball right there. And that's a result of a good job of changing speeds. Off speed pitch on the one before, then sped him up. Pitchers that don't throw real hard have to rely on location and mixing up the speeds. That wasn't the best location with the fastball, but clearly that wasn't the pitch he was looking for at the plate either. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. And that turns the lineup over. So the batting order turns over. Next to hit, Jackie Robinson. Next offering is in for a strike. Matthews, the runner at first with two gone. Second, two on, and two out. Couple of singles back to back. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now here's the switch hitting power threat. Mickey Mantle. And that is cut on and missed. Two and two. Two on, two outs. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Two outs. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. On to the top of the fifth we go. The groundbreaker is out front here. Four to nothing. Back at Globe Life Field, ready now for the fifth inning at the play. Mike Piazza. He might just be the best hitting catcher in the game today. Well, Boog, he's so valuable. Does a good job behind the plate, but offensively, he's a middle of the order type of bat, especially when you talk about catchers. And their number one job is to handle the pitching staff and prevent runs. This guy is able to add runs by producing them. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. The battle, Stepping in, the slugging shortstop, Cal Ripken Jr. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. They've got a potent lineup, and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Fastball for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. The groundbreakers leading by four, and we're at the top of the fifth. And another ball. The kick, the 3 2. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Ground ball to the right side. And that's just foul. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. 
Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Back in Arlington, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the DH, Willie Mays. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And here it comes. That's a little bit low. That one's in there, and the count is even two and two. Thank and downstairs. You. Kicks and fires. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. Three, two, he goes off speed, gets the out. Hank Aaron digs in now. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Murray. The flip to the pitcher covering. Yeah. There to beat him by an eyelash. And here's the first baseman, Lou Gehrig. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. The wind and the pitch. That oh. misses. And that's ball two. pitch try to get him to chase on the change up that time Ernie Banks to bat next two down nobody on last half of inning number five the right hander gives up the two out walk you know I think he's okay with that outcome it wasn't an intentional walk but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Manager out of the Better. dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Catfish Hunter out of the game, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Jim Palmer taking over on the mound. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out. Stepping in the long ball threat, Ernie Banks. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Tosses across the first, and that's the third out. And we're back. Here's the left fielder, Ricky Henderson. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. That clips the corner. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And that one in the air center field, and it falls. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. 
He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this now in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. And now the center fielder, Ken Griffey Jr. Late yeah. with the swing there. Okay. Three, two on the way. Well struck right field. Forget it. That'll fire up the dugout. And they're chipping away. It's 4 2. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Base is empty one away, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Mike Schmidt. In the air, out towards right center. And there's two away. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Now, here is Jim Tomey. Two outs. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Movement in the bullpen. Juan Marichal getting loose out there. Ford warming up as well. And a pitch. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now 4-2. Back after this on the show. Well, we go bottom six. And here's the catcher, Josh Gibson. And a big swing and a miss. Palmer is what you're looking for in a good reliever. The ball stays in the ballpark. It's so hard to square him up. Good eye in that spot. Yeah, he stays out of the middle and, and pitches either at the bottom or at the top on the edges. And because of that, if you do get it in the air, it's usually just a high fly ball. And when it's down in the zone, it's on the ground. Struck him out looking. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Hey, Cut on and miss. Hey. Struck him out. And now two gone. Now better. Two eight. outs, base is empty. Here's some real power at the plate. Eddie Matthews. Next offering is in for a strike. He's so consistent that the manager basically could look at it like he's got three outs sitting in his pocket. That shortens the game. Oh, and he hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, the bright side is that that will help the on-base percentage a little bit, and that's a category no batter can ignore these days. OBP, OPS, well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. 
when he takes the mound, you feel like, hey, this inning is wrapped or this ball game is over. He's just that good. And you can see it in opposing hitters as well. Late on that fastball. They know when he comes in, pretty much forget about it. Kind of reminds me of Mariano Rivera. Matthews off of first with two away. And another ball. Battling here as he fouls it away. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Fergie Jenkins. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Eddie Murray now at the plate. The first baseman. Eddie Murray. Eddie deals. Ball, no. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. The 2 1. And that one clips the corner. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Out to short. Sends it to first. Yeah. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Yeah, I believe we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Here's the catcher, Mike Piazza. Base is empty one away. Here in the top half of inning number seven. A little out front there as he swings through it. towards right center field Aaron gets under it and he makes the catch two up two down next to hit Cal Ripton Jr. Singh you talk about a guy that has all the skills the range is really good but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays and because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Outside low. Yeah, that's ball two. And down on strikes. And it's a three up, three down inning. Set for the last half of the seventh. There now, Mickey Mantle. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. One and two. And a good eye there. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. This to third, Schmidt. Fires over to first. One up, one down. Next is the designated hitter, Willie Mays.
One out, base is empty. Oh. And that skips in the dirt. And that one fouled off. One down, base is empty. No. That one misses, and the count's full. full count. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And a pitch. And yeah, there's ball, ball four. four. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of like, hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. Runner on at first with one gone. And now the right fielder, Hank Aaron. And a 1-1. One -one. Wouldn't well, chase that time. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. And the righty deals. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. Palmer checks over to first, and he's back. And now two and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And now, Lou Gehrig. Late that time, and it's strike two. One, two. Right-handed reliever, and it's even up. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound Whitey. to start the eighth. Whitey four. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Here's the second baseman, Joe Morgan. The second baseman. We talk about guys with Joe. good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. And, Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Now a chance for Ricky Henderson. Go. That misses, and that's ball three. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. And now the count is full, and another power hitter lurking in the on-deck circle. Swing and a miss, struck him out. 
couldn't catch up to the heater. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Just missed. And a 2-1 hammered, but foul. The wind of the pitch. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Nice line drive to the full side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Now here is Ken Griffey Jr. Swing it a foul straight back. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Gwynn makes the turn at second, and that'll put runners at the corners with two away. All over that one right there. Really that's nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. So two on with two away. Mike Schmidt will hit next. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And a count one and two. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. And now the lefty swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. A towering shot to center. It's 5-4. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance, and they found a way to fight back big time. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient and waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Babe Ruth on a pitch out of the pen here. Pretty no. tight game, so they're looking for Bird. quality pitches out of him right here. Right. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And now it's going to be Jim Tomey. Two down, nobody on. On the ground, right side. Robinson whips it to first. And the lefty reliever does his job. Just one pitch to get the inning ending ground out. But the biggest swing of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. And the home team down a run. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Ron Guidry. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Well, one run game. Now it's the shortstop, Ernie Banks. Looking to get the tying run on base. Edge of the zone for a strike. And a count one and two. Activity in the bullpen. Vita Blue getting ready to go. Suter also throwing. The pitch. The ball. shortstop takes the ball. Two ball, two strike. Next pitch misses way outside. Josh Gibson in the on deck circle.
That one misses. So a leadoff walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. One one now. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. And a strike in there. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And down on strikes he goes. And one away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Now the left fielder, Ralph Kiner. And a pitch. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Holding on to a one-run lead here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Hit on the ground might be two. Off balance feed. There's one. And that's two. So they go quietly there. Ninth inning coming up. The Boomers lead it five to four. Staying in the game on defense, Johnny Bench. He takes over behind the plate to do the catching after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Also entering the game, Hannes Wagner. He's in at shortstop. And now the first baseman, Eddie Murray. The first baseman. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. The lefty ready and a 1-1. Ball, no. Double barreled action in the bullpen. John Donaldson up and throwing. Newhauser getting cranked up as well. The lefty fires. That's Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. To the warning track. Makes the catch. Outstanding catch right there. And I love the commitment that he showed. He knew that the wall was close, but was determined to make that catch. And a nice calculation of just how much room he had to try to minimize that contact. Ground ball up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. Out. Awesome play there. The batter, number eight. Shortstop. Cal Ripken Jr. Two out, space is empty. Cal Ripken Jr. Getting ready to hit. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. Base hit. He was all over that one. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Ruth checks over to first, and he's back. Now at the plate, Joe Morgan. No, that's and that's a little bit high. And it's two and one. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Swings through that one for strike two. 
It's been a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you've got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Left-hand batter waits. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. And they get Morgan for the out. And that'll do it. One hit, one left. And 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. The Boomers are on top five to four. Back now and on the mound, the closer, Vita Blue. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pin to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Well, one run game down the third baseman, Eddie Matthews. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. One run game, bottom nine. And that's in the dirt. Oh, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Oh. Next offering down in the dirt. Jackie Robinson waiting for a turn at the plate. The pitch. That Ooh. one finds the zone. Three and two now. Oh, and boy, that was the pitch. Three one. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Oh. Swing and a Ooh. miss. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really wasn't a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. So the lineup flips over. Now it's the second baseman, Jackie Robinson, to third. Schmitty over to first. And they're down to their last out. That's why you hug now the lines on the corners the late in the ball game Mickey. like this, positioned perfectly. Mantle. And here is Mickey Mantle. Blue is just one strike away. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and that's the ball game. Trailing by four runs can be pretty tough, especially when there's good pitching on the other side. But these players just kept fighting. They never gave up, and that's why they got back in the ball game and came away with the win in this one. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. And our final line score. First for the victorious visiting team. Five runs on nine hits. No errors. They left five runners on base. For the groundbreakers, four runs on eight hits. No errors. They left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game. Three hours and 16 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please. Drive home safely.